and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks hey 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 what up guys how are ya this is Rio and yes it's run down it's outdated and it needs a renovation it's needed one for a long time and now that Caesars is out and Dreamscape the new owners are in they are ready to renovate the whole property first there's been a name changed it's not called Rio's all suite hotel and casino it's now called Rio hotel and casino <laughs> they took the all suite out who finally Oh yeah, Rio needs some love and care. It needs a full restoration here. But the good news is Rio has incredible framework. Its skeleton was ahead of its time when it was built back in the 90s. Crap. Oh, shit. That's if done correctly, Rio has huge potential. Check this out. This is the strip. These are strip hotels. Rio is not on the strip. However, Rio's location is prime time to many of look, us. Look, look, look who's hanging out back there. Let's go check it out. That's a Rio, guys. A view of Rio stands out from pretty much every hotel on the Strip. With all the traffic commotion that's going on on the Strip these days, and it'll go on for many, many years now, it takes 20, 30 minutes just to go one mile off the Strip. Sometimes I just want to stay at a place where I have easy in and out access to go to downtown, Chinatown, and so forth and so forth. And Rio is perfect for that. The Impanima Tower and the Masquerade Tower. All right, y'all. I got my little bag from Cosmopolitan. Now let's talk about this room with incredible potential. You see that right there? That whole section is uh, my room, huh? <laughs> well, thank you for this upgrade. <laughs> wow, that's pretty, that's a lot of windows, huh? So that's where the bathroom, bedroom, and then like the living room, and that's a dining room. So it curves, it curves all the way around, huh? Oof, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I would have never thought that just one room. So these are like the corner corner suites, huh? Like the end, no, no, the end caps. <laughs> oh, All right, let's go. Hey Juan, what's up? <laughs> hey, what up Juan? Juan is one of my few friends who actually knows about this YouTube channel. I did a Wicked Spoon Buffet at Cosmopolitan video with Juan, so that's coming out soon, so please stay tuned. But yeah, this area is the Masquerade Tower area. I think they call this the Masquerade Village, and this is sort of dormant. There's a whole bunch of slot machines, but nothing is really going on here these days. However, again, this area has huge potential. I'll get more detailed into this area in my next real video if I ever make one, but for now, let's just focus on the room and I'm gonna give you a little details on the overall scope of the Dreamscape takeover. You want, yeah, do it. <laughs> you guys want a champagne bottle? <laughs> champagne bottle? Yes, champagne bottle. Hey, oh, oh, only she's, cause she's, she's, she's wait, is that a bulldog? Yeah, go dogs, right, baby, guys. go dogs. Uh, uh, it's not, it's, it's a bottle, it ain't something great, but oh, it's hey, something. Hey, free is free, yeah? free okay. is free. But do me a favor, since you wanted to be in the video, could you uh, say this for me? What? Say one take situation. Say what? One take situation. One take situation. One take situation. One take situation. Subscribe. Subscribe, baby, right. subscribe! Hey, I, 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 I bribed him with my bag here, guys. Ah, <laughs> jeez. Uh, right. How about hey. this? First of all, this yes. one, okay? Thank you, no, no, thank we're not, you. It's, we're not done, we're not done. And here. Oh, oh, oh my God! Thank you. Subscribe. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I bribed them. What's, what's your YouTube first of all? Oh, it's a uh, one take situation. One take situation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't get that I know. I got. I got it. Uh, numeric one. One take. Take situation. situation. Okay. Uh, YouTube. One right. take situation. Yeah. Let me subscribe to see that now. Right. This you. I just started. Oh, oh yeah, that was me. Six forty four. Right, you got another one. You got another one. Let's go. It worked. It worked. Let's go. Enjoy. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. So this is the tower here. Let's go. <laughs> go Bulldogs. Let's go. All right. So, whew, that was fun, huh? At least this is a lot more lighter now. 
from an end guys oof oof <laughs> oh this is serious stuff guys <laughs> This is serious stuff. <laughs> All right, H. I, I bribed him. I gotta do what I gotta do, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Come on. Okay. White floors this way. Come on. Yeah. Girl, it, it has a little curvature like they do at Aria. Yeah, Bellagio, but more of a curvature here. Uh, pre previous my stay here, I checked out uh, the Empanima Tower. I was curious to check out this tower here. So here I am. And um, fortunately, I got a random upgrade and she didn't even tell me, the check-in person at the time. She just says, here's a room. Uh, I'm like, okay, thank you. I asked for a high floor with a strip view, hopefully. And she was working on it for about five minutes or whatnot. And this is what I got here on the 17th floor. This is gonna be raw. I was in here earlier I to drop my stuff off, but when I opened this door, I was like, okay. And I looked over here, I was like, okay. Cause I just booked a standard room at the uh, master ray. So when I walked in, I looked to the left, I'm like, okay. And then it hit me, maybe something's going on here. And then I looked to the left, there's a bathroom. Okay. And this is when I realized, oh, I think she gave me an upgrade. So I continued to go in. So I'm like, okay. Remember the lights were off. So I'm like, okay. And I came in here and I looked to the right. I'm like, okay. Remember again, the lights were off. And I look over here and I'm like, okay, this is not a regular room. Oh yeah, this is some wild stuff here. Remember I was talking about the, the skeleton and the framework that Rio has? These windows, look, these windows were so ahead of its time back in, this tower was built in 1997. And even then, these windows here, oof, wow. Oh yeah, I love windows. I love glass, I love Vegas views. And this is one of my favorites here. And guess what? This could be had for under $200. Oh yeah, this is truly a panoramic 180 degrees viewing experience. And then to the bathroom. Oops, excuse me. there's rough edges it's obviously not a newly renovated room and whatnot the color configuration and just the decor it's not the newest and the baddest kit on the block that's for sure okay and um i'm gonna be a little biased here because uh this was a random just a nice gesture by the person checking me in and i came back to rio for a reason my first time that i stayed here a couple weeks ago I enjoyed it. I liked the vibe. I liked the, 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 the customer service, the people in here. It was chill. That's why I returned. And also because my friend today wanted to go check out the all-you-can-eat uh, buffet uh, lobster night at Palms Hotel, which is across the street. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just book Rio again. It's right across the street. And that's how I, end, uh, that's how I ended up here, booking on just a regular room at Masquerade Tower. It is long. This feels like a gym, like a public gym. It's huge. A little shower again it's it's just like a shower a sh effective shower at the gym okay nothing crazy special it's just utility you go in there take a shower do your thing come out okay but uh bring your slippers wear your slippers Standard Jose Eber facial soaps. Okay. And then here's a water closet. Again, just, uh, just old school stuff. Simple switch. 
Nothing crazy. Okay. Nothing crazy. Okay, but so far things look clean. And man, just for them to clean this room and reset after every session, it must be tough, you know? This might be, this is kind of cool guys, right? One, two, action. Huh, I'm gonna try something here later on. <laughs> okay. All right, looking to the left. I guess it's a kind of a simple closet style. All right, those are my shirts. Yeah, you get a big old safe. Okay. And then some of that stuff. And you get some slippers with the room. Those are Costco special Adidas brand from Costco. All right, moving on. Okay. So as you see, it's effective. It's, it's, it's useful. And you know, it's bright and it's clean so far. At, at least sanitary wise, you, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it's not the most perfect condition furniture pieces and whatnot, but uh, you know, and then we go window. King size bed. Oh yeah, it's not the prettiest, but given the circumstance, it did feel clean. Like a 1990s style here. It looks plush, it looks comfortable, but you know why I have those things over there. You know, I mean, no offense to just here. I do this, I would do this at Bellagio or even, even Wynn Hotel, so nothing personal. I'm gonna cover it up because uh, I'm sure people had some fun in here, that's for sure. There's no doubt. You come into this room, you have a good time. And one of the pros about having some of these worn out pieces or maybe like stains on some of these situations, hey, stains on the carpet. You know what, the pros is, you don't have to worry about partying in here and like being afraid that you might be charged for something. Listen, it's a type of situation, hey, have at it. Obviously don't go overboard and do stuff on excessively on purpose, but have a good time, feel comfortable. You know, I don't know what they charge here for this room or not, but uh, I think you know what I'm saying. Don't damage it or whatnot, but you don't have to tiptoe your, yourself around. And there's plenty of room. You could have one, two, three, four, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You could host 15, 16, you know, 20 people in here without a problem. I, you, 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 you know what I mean? All right, let's, come on, I'm getting animated here. This is the lobster talking. I had a lot of lobster tails. Okay, again, effective. You don't have to worry about a lot of stuff because you do have stuff like this. You know, I hope that's juice stains. <laughs> okay, maybe an ass stain would be right there. That might be, <laughs> all right, I don't know. Let's just uh, let it there. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, ooh, that's a beautiful piece here. It's nice. All right. <sighs> Man, I don't think you guys want to see the drawers and whatnot, but just drawers, okay? A lot of compartments. And I'm hoping this is the fridge down here because I haven't seen a fridge yet. Oh, come on, let it be a fridge, let it be a fridge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little bit bigger than the standard. And then, oh, wet bar area. Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah. Again, th there's imperfections on the carpet, noticeable. But again, it looks like it's been vacuumed. <laughs> it doesn't smell too crazy in here. Just, uh, it's effectively clean. Building formation, and I think this is the best view proposition right here in this corner if you want to see the view of the strip. And note, my room number ended with a 2-9, so if you want that view, ask for a room number with 2-9 at the end. All right, and here's the new real website. No more Caesars, you gotta book through here. It's a little clunky, but you know, gets the job done for now. Oh, and for those of you who already have real bookings for future dates that was done through Caesars, all those reservations will be honored by the new Rio at least the accommodations portion. However, if you have attached 
food and beverage or casino offers, those will be reviewed and approved by case-by-case -case basis. These room prices look about the same as when Caesars ran it, except the suite that I just showed you. Yeah, these suites used to be called a masquerade suite. Now it's called a panoramic suite. And guess what? The prices are substantially lower now than it was before. Wow, so for this suite with the strip view, it's $169. However, right up there for $129, you could get this suite without the strip view. $129 for a 1,600 square feet suite. Now that is a deal. Now, bargains like this, there comes with compromises. It's going to be outdated. It's going to have some stains, so forth and so forth. But it's $129, guys. And just to give you an example, it's $169 with $39 per night resort fee for the suite with the strip view around Christmas time. And still, free parking for everyone. I just knocked out. Oh. Many of you watching this will be like, hell no, I'm not staying there with all those stains and the outdated furniture. No way. But then there's gonna be many of you as well who'll be like, hey, you know what, $169 for this? I'll make some compromises and give this a try because that view is spectacular. Yup, there's gonna be two major stages to this renovation project. Stage number one will take about 18 months and it'll focus on the Impanima Tower and the poor area. And once that's complete, they'll move on over here to the Masquerade Tower. So the Masquerade Tower might not even be touched until 2025. Who knows how these renovations will end up. However, I have big faith in the new Rio Rewards Program. And so should you if you're a big fan of Cosmopolitan's identity. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, this... I can't, I can't ask for anything more in terms of window proposition here. Hey guys and ladies, ladies, if you're a fan of the Cosmopolitan Rewards Program, which is going away since MGM has taken over, if you're a fan of that, keep your eye out on the Rio Rewards Program. There's a reason for this and I'll break it down in my next video. So please subscribe and stay tuned for that one. All right, the question is, is it walkable from the Rio to the Strip? And I see a lot of people walking back and forth. Okay. And then you gotta cross that freeway. But that's the route. And then you'll get to your paradise. Hey, what up, Cosmo? What up, Cosmo? How are you? I'm okay. Have you made a video on me? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, I told you I want to try something here. This is uh, harder than I thought, but here we go. Hello. Okay, now look right there. Hello. Well, if you enjoyed this one, push that like button. <laughs> uh, comment below and uh, subscribe okay thank you for watching and please come again bye bye all right y'all let's get to that 1000 subscriber mark thank you